Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a review of the L'Oreal Color Riche Monos eyeshadows. These are a line of single eyeshadows that they're releasing for spring 2016. The L'Oreal eyeshadows are $6 and you get 3.5 grams. These eyeshadows are like a cream powder hybrid. They're not as creamy as the ColourPop eyeshadows, but they're not dry like a regular powder eyeshadow. They're actually slightly squishy. The line comes in 15 shades and I have 14 of them. The eyeshadows that come in the range have a variety of different finishes. So you have um, a few mattes, um, a lot of shimmery colors, and then um, one uh, metallic color. What most surprised me about the line was the fact that I really liked most of the matte eyeshadows. I think that it can be a little bit hard to find good quality matte eyeshadows from the drugstore, but I was actually really surprised by the ones that were in this range. Now the thing with these eyeshadows is they do apply best with fingers. I feel like if you're going to use a brush, like any sort of standard fluffy eyeshadow brush, you're going to be a little bit disappointed because I think it doesn't pack on color as well. If you do want to use a brush with the eyeshadows, I suggest using more dense like synthetic bristle brushes. If you're someone who doesn't like using fingers to apply your eyeshadow, then I'd probably suggest skipping these eyeshadows. Wear time with the eyeshadows was pretty good. Without primer, I got six hours of wear before it started creasing, and then with primer, I got nine hours of wear. So I highly suggest wearing it with a primer. So I'm gonna show you swatches of the six colors that I liked, the five colors that I thought were just good, and then the three colors that I absolutely did not like. And the six that I liked were these ones. This is, the first one is Little Beige Dress, which is kind of like a pinky, um, like uh, pinky beige color. Then you have Cafe Au Lait, and Quartz Fume, then you have Violet Butte, um, Green Promenade, and Meet Me in Paris. Little Beige Dress, Cafe Au Lait, and Meet Me in Paris are the matte eyeshadows that I liked the most. They are really easy to apply, they didn't feel dry or ultra powdery. So these are the shades that were just good. So the first shade is Sunset, Sunset Skin, then there's uh, Petite Pearl and Mademoiselle Pink. Then there is Pen au Chocolat and uh, Teal Couture. These last shades were the shades that I did not like. There is, um, two, there is Grand Bleu, um, Noir Saint Noir, and um, Argentique. So these shades were really dry. They felt super dry in the pan. I felt like I had to really press and keep um, building up product onto my finger in order to get enough to apply onto my eyelids. Um, those are the three shades that I would absolutely suggest skipping. And if you only had to pick one, I highly suggest 208 Violet Butte. It's like a burgundy that has a gold sparkle and it just makes it look a lot more dimensional than um, you'd expect. If you liked the review, feel free to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks!